When we look inside of the machine, I've took the mandrel out here now. We'll open the safety door. With the safety door open, the cutter is not functional, the machine is not functional. We'll look and see the timing belt that connects the machine to the cutter unit itself. When you get the unit, it should have the cutter already installed in the unit, uh, but we want to just double check to make sure that the belt is tight and aligned properly. So we'll look inside here and there's a timing belt and a tensioner that we want to make sure is adjusted and tensioned properly. So we'll pull the tensioner out and then lock the handle down. And you can see where the tab is on the cutter unit and a sensor on the machine. Now this is the cutter home position switch to tell the machine where the blades of the cutter are at. So the tensioner for the timing belt is right here. This will slide in and out. This has a sprocket on the end and will create tension in the belt. The belt itself can be seen here. There's a, time, a sprocket for the cutter and the opposing sprocket on the other side for the machine. This belt can be slipped on and over these sprockets. And you'll see a tab on the cutter mechanism itself and the blue switch and light illuminate. So this right here is telling where the cutter is to the machine, where the home position is. So on the HMI screen, when it says cutter is not home, what it's doing is going to cycle this one time to find out to make sure where this tab is located to where the home position is. Again, we want to make sure this is tensioned out. By doing that, we can pull this lever here out towards us, create tension on the belt, and then lock the locking handle down. Now you can feel the belt and it's tensioned properly. One important safety note is that this sprocket here on the cutter unit itself is connected to the blades on the inside of the cutter. So if we look at the cutter itself and the hole where the mandle runs down. So as I turn the sprocket, you'll notice that this is all connected in the, the hole. So make sure these blades are very sharp. Make sure you do not put your hand or fingers in here. So again, as I spin this, this rotates the cutter blades. And again, this is what tells the machine where the cutter is at home in the home position for the blue sensor. You can be very careful because the blades are very sharp. Once we have the cutter mechanism installed, the belt tensioned and set, we're gonna shut the door to the machine and look on the HMI screen. Again, the cutter is not in position, and so we'll need to home the cutter to find the correct position. To do this, we're going to look on the screen and tab that says manual. This will bring up the manual selection screen. On here, there'll be a button in the upper right-hand corner that says cutter, because cutter needs positioning. We're gonna press and hold the cutter button down. It'll bring up another screen, and it says cutter need positioning, please position the button. There's a positioning button here. What we're gonna do is push, hold that button, and that's gonna rotate the cutter until it finds its home. Once the cutter is satisfied, if we go to the work screen, you'll notice that the alarm is now gone and the machine knows exactly where the cutter blades are at.